Hi guys, it's uh, Peter here and I'm not outside, it's a Saturday, it's a Sunday evening and I'm going to make myself a pot cosy in a minute I'm not sure I'll give an overview on that for a uh, M&S pancake pan go over that in a minute and a little bit on one or two projects I've set myself for the winter period including one very special one. Be back in a minute. Right, here we go. I've got some um, rather nice uh, aluminised insulating mat. Aluminium adhesive tape. Marking pen. A measuring device and my 12 centimetre billy can which is one I tend to take out more often and it's going to be a blue peter moment this is um, this isn't using sticky back plastic by the way so that part of the blue peter moment doesn't come into existence so it's just all the kit that sort of thing so first of all I'm going to Measure this to get me a size, and it is bizarrely 12 centimeters down. And 13 centimeters across, so just double check. Yep. In carpentry there is a adage that you measure twice and cut once and it goes for most things. So I'll do twelve and a half centimetres and I'll make a mark there. Come across and do Twelve and a half centimeters, and make a mark there. Grab my straight edge. Back on it. Measure again. Yep, it works. Right. Put that away. Very gingerly and carefully. Side for a minute. Right, there we go. Basically, what we need to do is work it out so that we can wrap it around the billy can, and I'll have to make two little cuts in it just to the sides. And to make that easier, what I'll do is I'll facilitate one of the cuts to do with the. Um, Again, put it around. This this part should be a lot easier. I 
don't want it too loose but I don't want it so tight that I can't slide it in and out. That should be about it. So I'm up there. Yeah. Yeah. Just follow the pimples up. And we have a new gun. process what I'm going to do now is uh, turn off the camera and so I don't want to make this an overly long film so I'm going to go through some other bits and we'll see what happens <clears throat> As fortune has it, excuse the tea bags inside the bit of can. As fortune has it, um, there's enough at the end of the strip to actually make the bottom, which I use the billy can insert. Actually, these inserts come in useful. I know a lot of people actually draw holes in and make small steamers out of them. I've kept mine whole because I've actually found it quite good for doing a bannocking. It uh, acts as a sort of stainless steel Dutch oven. Very basic or very um I think so just grab the old marking pen. Mark the outside so and just cut around. Yeah. Mm. Put in the top, so. And it all comes over. And I shall use the um, aluminium sticky tape in a minute to stick down the sides. What I've done on the side of here, you can see. And I've actually cut out a small insert so that can go down and the billy can thing can fold over. What I am going to do in a, in a little while is the same thing but I shall do a lid. So I shall put the billy can lid on there, make a lid to fit over the top, small inserts as well, so the whole billy can will be enclosed into the pot warmer. And I shall explain the reasoning for this in a little while. But uh, it should be quite evident as to why. So, okie doke. Um, so, take this up now. So, while I'm going to do that, I shall turn the camera off and uh, I shan't trouble you with too long a video footage. Well, there we go, folks. A pot cosy, I've yet to road test it, but I'm hoping it's going to do well. The top hasn't come out as well as I expected, but I'm going to have a little tweak around with that. It's, um, it's a bit squiffed on one side. But the beauty of this is I can now, you don't have to clean the outside of the billy can off either, because that will just fit over. Your billy can will just fit into there like so. And if you've got a sooty billy can, well there you go. So it fits into there like that, it fits on there like that. And the squiffed out top, which I'm very disappointed about, but it fits over the top like so. I've got plenty of aluminium tape, so I'm going to pretty the edges up. So it can actually be, so it can actually, um, 
pull the tops up. There we go. One. The cost of this, I should think, is a is a couple of quid. The sheet cost me about six pounds um, sterling. It's just over six pounds sterling. And the aluminium tape of which has bucket loads costs about the same. So I think, in a way, it only cost me about three quid to make because I've used about half the amount of tape, probably just a little bit less. I might even have enough there to do one for my um, 14 centimetre can, or maybe even make one for the Crusader Cup. The great thing with this is, with a bit of luck, fair wind, and judicious cooking, you bring your rice up to the boil, or your noodles up to the boil, stick it in the pot cosy, that can finish cooking, while you've got something else on, so it saves fuel as well. So in a period of time this would will definitely pay for itself. So folks, there we go. And I'll catch you down the line. I shall do another short video later. Dinner's nearly ready downstairs, so I'll be doing hopefully a video on my few skillet I've got TTFM. <laughs>